Hey everyone, it's Ellie. It's the Sunday before Purim and I've been sick for the past couple of days. That said, I still hope to have this week's videos online live at their usual times. Today though, I wanted to discuss something that's been pressing on my mind for the past couple of weeks, especially since posting the Chayav Inish lesson video. Rabba suggested that a man is required to drink on Purim, that whole thing. With Purim tends to come quite a bit of drinking, often to excess. I've got nothing particular against that in general. So you're heading to an adult Purim party with your friends, starts with Megillah reading, moves on to dinner, maybe hors d'oeuvres, whatever. The alcohol is flowing. You're really taking that whole requirement to drink thing really seriously. Come the end of the night, you're smashed and you realize, I, I drove my car here. I'm gonna get it home. There's no harm in driving, right? Wrong! No! Ah! What, are you stupid? Why? Because you couldn't bother on pre-planning a way home? Or, well, because I wasn't planning on getting drunk. Maybe you just didn't want to spend the money for a ride there and back? To the first two, too bad. Leave your mistakes there and don't make any more dumb decisions tonight. To the one who's too cheap to bust your cabot there and back, here's some basic math for you. It'll cost you more to drive drunk and get caught, or God forbid, hurt or kill someone or yourself than paying an additional parking fee. Calling a friend or family member to come and get you by bus or cab, driving you home in your car, paying them back, and then taking them out to dinner to thank them, calling a towing company and having them tow your car home for you, just cabbing it or busing it and paying whatever impound fee comes, if that's even a problem, just staying put and not getting into your car. A lot of things will cost less than losing your license, lawyer fees, hospital bills, or worse. I recently nearly lost a friend to a drunk driver. It was a shock to me and a near nightmare for him and for his loved ones. Don't ever put anyone through that on Purim or any other time of year. Don't drink and drive, period. Have a safe and happy Purim.